Hello there, Chaos Nova here, and this is another episode of Chaos Tutorials. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this series and explaining how to run Windows applications on macOS. So, in this case, we're going to be using Coders Crossover, and this is an updated version of how you set up Steam on Coders Crossover for the new Crossover version 25. I've been a little delayed here with my uh, recent move to new home. But uh, I'm back in business and back to try and help people get their porting working. Porting being when you're running a app to another system. In this case, running Windows applications on Mac OS. So without much further ado, we're going to get started on how this updated version of Coders Crossover can set up Steam for the best effect. I'm later going to be talking about guides for other games and how to get them working with Steam and other applications. Now here's where we get started. We're going to get Steam, select it, and run the install. So it, the setup is already correct. Um, this will likely be updated in the near future as this is Windows 10 64-bit is the optimal way to install Steam on Coders Crossover. So we're getting this installation going and as it goes, I want to show you a little direction to my playlist and my playlist for Chaos Tutorials and getting crossover working on Mac. So here's the first one. This is the font family. So this is automatically comes to you. Again, say yes. Get Arial fonts installed because they are used by Steam to show you text in the Ser and Steam server menu and in, in the games that are played on Steam. So you want to say yes. Um, and now we're going to take a brief little bit to show you here. Here's the playlist. I'll have a link in the description to my playlist for Coders Crossover and Chaos Tutorials. It's here. And it's great. Um, there are a number of games in the playlist. Uh, you can go look at the playlist and see what games you're trying to get working. The game you're looking for might be there. Um, re more recently, I've talked about Lords of Shadow, uh, the other and the other Castlevania games with the Anniversary Collection, and how to get them working, and how well they work if they do with the current version. So the Castlevania games and cast tutorials are updated for Coders Crossover version 25, which is the same as this version I am showing you to get Steam installed with. I'll be working on Command and Conquer games, uh, including Generals and Zero Hour coming up next. That should be pretty fun. I'm also going to be showing how to get Worms. Whew. Okay, the Worms games. The games where you play as a bunch of worms shooting at each other. Those games. I'm going to be showing how to get Worms Ultimate Mayhem, which is Worms 3 and Worms 4 put together in one collection. So it should be pretty fun uh, coming up next in Chaos Tutorials. And without much further ado, we're going to get forward in the installation process for Steam. All right, now here we are installing the Arial font family. And there are a few more installations. I'll guide you through them. So you install the Arial fonts so that you obviously could have the text displayed in the server and on the games. And here we go. This doesn't take too long. There's next there's gonna be the direct X installation next after this one. So here it's going and Alright, now this is C plus plus visual. You just have to say yes. It's automatic this time. Unlike previous versions of Crossover, where you have to actually do this manually, the people working at CoWeavers, thank you very much. It is now automatically asking you if yes or no, do you going to install this? Well, of course I'm going to install it. Now you're setting up Steam. So obviously with Steam, you're going to have to do an email verification that it, it's your account. And this is counted as a virtual machine or another computer with Steam on it. So you're going to have to set it up yourself. Um, okay. This is just, you know, but you should know how to handle uh, an email verification of your account for Steam. Your chances are, 
in today's world, that's normal for you. So. go it's the steam installation process it'll go but I'll skip ahead but coming up next we're going to be talking about how to get the other installations going for certain brands of games so there is the Bethesda audio override now I have a video on the Bethesda audio override and I'm gonna enjoy uh, showing you how that works and that's for Bethesda games such as Elder Scrolls games like Oblivion or Skyrim and it's also for games like the newer Fallout games made by Bethesda so right now we're going forward um, you should know how to take care of the verification of your account but as we're gonna get started so here it is I'm gonna drop off here and go on to the Bethesda audio override because that's just my information. But the good thing now for Steam is that you have a, you can use a QR code on your phone if you have the Steam app to just easily verify remotely, hey, this is my account. So you don't have to necessarily use the email verification. I like that part about how it works. It's easier that way. So right now we're going to the Bethesda Auto Override for the Fallout and Elder Scrolls games. If you have the Steam versions for them. So, that's great. Um, here we're going to get started. So you have a couple of libraries that don't get installed on their own. So we're going to go into one configuration, go into the libraries tab, and we're going to copy and paste these libraries files so that they will be installed into your bottle. The bottle being the application run in Coguers Crossover as a virtual machine. So I'm copying, pasting, and adding. Now I will have the the text for these audio override files so that your game won't have issues with graphics and audio. I'll have them in the description. Just scroll down and you'll see the audio overrides for Bethesda games. And that and the, that way you can copy and paste them too from the video description. Now, as the Bethesda audio override is over, I have a video dedicated specifically to that technique so you can watch it for more details and now we're going into direct media installation so direct media installation should be the finishing touch to get your a lot more steam games more compatible so direct media there are some libraries that haven't installed well so for Final Fantasy games as one example and for a number of other games you kind of need these media libraries for audio sound graphics processing DM band and I'll have these audio files labeled in the description so you can do the same copy and paste as the Bethesda audio override right here except for these various DM files so you need these files or else your games can crash at moments such as in Final Fantasy games it will crash just because the battle started but here you know how to get them going and I provide the copy paste file names in the description so you can just install them in one configuration so that's right there and we're going to end with a little fun starting Command and Conquer Generals and Zero Hour it should be a little fun I like the general series um, as they were a type of spiritual predecessor to what happened. All right, now here's what we're going to do for DXVK. Now, DXVK is also libraries. They apply to later versions of Windows for a Coleridge crossover bottle. So now we're going to take a look at those windows and we're going to make sure we have all the libraries installed so we're going to go look up dxvk in the installations so so 
there it is you're typing in dxvk okay. so first you do the just regular library so everything on this that we see right here in this menu for if the word dxvk okay is going to be installed so first we install the dll's only that's how we do it install okay so here we go libraries only and it's done. All right, now we're gonna do the other DXVK. So we're gonna install DXVK upstream. And then there's built in. So upstream, make sure we choose the Steam bottle each time. Install the Steam and all right. There we go. All right, now what's up next? All right, now we're just going to a little gameplay footage. And yes, we'll be coming up with other games to show how they work, which would be cool. So we're going to be having first is So Worms Ultimate Mayhem is one of the ones I'm going to be having a guide for. Uh, it's, it's using the Steam. So first we're going to just say, hey, look, this is, we'll use the Steam guide to get this running. Fun combination of Worms 3D and Worms 4. Next one we're going to be doing is going to be the game known as Heroes of Might and Magic 3 and Might of Magic 4. So here's a Might and Magic 3. Here are some Might and Magic 4. And the series is similar to how you're being a commander and you're controlling numerous heroes inspired by Dungeons and Dragons characters. So it's pretty fun too. It's just a new way to get it installed using an updated version of the game. So that should be pretty good as well. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna enjoy some of this gameplay and we're gonna be going on. And to finish this up, I just wanna let you know, you know, if you wanna be up to date with newer tutorials episodes, Subscribe to my channel. It's a perfect way to get updated on new videos that I have coming out. I'll also be working on video editing and other software tips, not just Coders Crossover in the coming days. So it should all be great. Uh, which we all should be having a fun time getting our old games to keep working and getting them to work. You know, maybe it was the first time we got that game. So the barriers should be broken between operating systems and i intend to do that so right here we're just doing command and conquer general zero hour and this plays on steam uh, it we can get it from ea on steam and it works just great um, it doesn't really play in hd graphics so you're gonna have to find a mod for that if you want to play it in hd but otherwise it runs pretty smoothly except for a few bugs where the game crashes when you're using certain unit abilities like having an explosive charge placed on a disabled vehicle for some reason. Otherwise, the Command & Conquer games work pretty well on Mac OS using Cobra's crossover. It's great. So, I want to wish you well and look forward to seeing you in the next episode. As I always say at the end, be safe out there because I will be signing off. Hi everyone, Kesson over here and this is the ending of the video presentation and chaos tutorials and here's the deal if you want to see more of my uh, tutorials on getting your old games to work on mac and you want to see more tutorials on how to do various other tasks such as very cheap ways to make youtube videos that still look decent and much much more um, feel free to subscribe and if you want to be among the first to get each video hit the notifications and please if you enjoy liking this your vote still counts so please click the like with a big thumbs up all right you have a wonderful day and